he's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was coding your sugar walls. I'm just saying. Yeah. God damn, my boy. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three sides to every story. His side, her side, and the truth. And today, we about to hear her side. Now, this young lady has been basically um, putting out the receipts. She has been uh, uh, going on interviews and today we're going to review a interview that she did with Abba and Preach with no introduction needed for those gentlemen. They've been out here crushing it on these YouTube streets for a long time. So they're going to go in depth, ask questions that people want to know, because, you know, it's really hard to come to a conclusion when you don't have all the pieces. And again, there's always three sides. So this is her side. So we want to find out where is the information gaps and where can we fill in her side to his side and to maybe get to some variation of the truth so let's get into it let's check out the interview and go from there uh he said that you were never his girl he said that i made a statement on my vlog and on the show multiple times and i said this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Just keep that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. We never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring a girl on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time. So she mm -hmm. comes back. So can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Uh, I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Love you, babe. Love you. Yeah, I love yeah. you, babe. So he's out here saying he don't claim her. He never claimed her. That's not his girl. But in private, he's saying, I love you. He's saying, you my girlfriend. He moved her in. And on top of that, he publicly on video saying he loved her. Does that sound like somebody who's being... Treat like a jump off. Wow. <laughs> Man, this this is not how the game is supposed to be played. I don't think I don't think he was playing the game, y'all. I think uh he was uh enjoying life. I think he was booing up. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being in love, man. There's literally nothing wrong with finding a beautiful woman and locking her down. And just doing your thing. There's zero wrong with that, folks. 100%. I'm all for it. You find that one that's going to make you happy, rock with it. Rock with it. <sighs> but here's the thing. You can't be out here denying it, yo. <laughs> yo, she, yo, he out here denying that girl like a redhead stepchild. You would think from what we were hearing, at least from you know the story circulating, that she was just some straight jump off she this was just some shorty that he was just bringing through every now and then to beat them things up and send them back and that's the image that you know that goes with his his persona his 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 public image you know it's that that man those fear strong go oh, we don't love him man. i mean we we hit him and quit him kind of vibe and there's nothing Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with that. And some people are like, oh, there's something wrong with that. Okay, well, hear me out. I have not, I see nothing wrong if you grab a woman, you blow her up, and y'all let's be happy. And I don't have a problem if you choose to go out there and hit them, quit them, and do whatever you want. Listen, to each his own. I'm not policing no man. But the problem falls in when you out here faking the funk. You out here stunting. You out here, you talking about one thing, that you ain't living that thing. That hypocrisy is what I and others do not like about this situation. Now, of course, all this is alleged. This is only her side, you know, of the story. But, I mean, just looking at the, look at the footage. 
That footage is real. I mean, my man was over there. I, I love you, boo. Kissing all up on it and everything. Talking about, I can't wait to see her again. And I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> Listen, that's and that again is fine. But then you can't switch over and be like, well, if you see me with a girl or well, camera, she ain't my girl. I don't know who talks to their not girl that way. I don't know. Y'all tell me, but who you know what? Let's 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 keep it pushing. Let's see what else they talking about. Well, he's just making him like make make him look like it is right now because clearly like he made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can like casually meeting your mother, that's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay. If you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long-distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different. You know, but I don't want to, like it comes to a conclusion in the beginning like oh i'm gonna stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me because in the early stage of the relationship i don't want to then i ask her well why do you not want to be intense about monogamy but you are rushing to have a kid i asked some tough that's questions a, that's, a, that's a good question I, i'm not i'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing a, no, it no no i am mad at you no, I, I, I'm, I'm she's like i'm about like i don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy so i'm accepting this but, but like rushing for but you want to have a baby with him yeah, I, I understand, I understand, because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married, or if if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for, like, a week. Like, it's not, it doesn't matter, it's the time, it doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months, he really wanted to marry me, he's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that. When I when I met Walter, I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to me. I'm with Preach on this one. I, I got to, I got to think. I got to, I got to process. I got to process. That was uh, a bit there. So backpedal a little bit. So first, we're going to talk about the fact that she can't be just be a jump off. I think unless I mean, a court, unless she's lying from her perspective, from what she's telling us, there's no way she did some jump off, man. Like some shorties out here, you know, what I mean, going catching up with the fam. He Did she say go back to his home country? Talking about checking, hanging out with mom. When the last time you let a jump off hang out with your mother? I don't know what part of the game that is, but I've never seen it. I never read it. I never partake in it. That is crazy. No one. I mean, does anybody do, comment? Please comment for me. Is that part of the game? Is that something I'm not aware of? Is that like a thing to kind of get somebody to lower their guard? Like, oh, I told you my mom. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, maybe it is. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, it's possible, but it doesn't seem likely man i don't know man i don't know if i'll be taking jump offs around the fan but that's that's neither here there i let it go i let that go but one thing i can definitely appreciate in this conversation abba really did drop the heat with that second question that second question was oh that well the next question he had dropped was pure fire just like you're not trying to have an intense relationship right but <laughs> You're ready to have his kid. That is real. So what what spurred that question? So this question kind of bounces off the previous question. So his previous question was asking, you know, why did you accept a relationship that is uh, non-monogamous? You know, so basically an open relationship. So in her, her reasoning is, you know, she travels, he travels, and she already knows she's going to be gone a lot. And she rather just go ahead and just accept it, accept the inevitable than him to be sneaking and everything so she rather just go ahead and keep it light you know 
But to Abba's point, it's like, all right, you want to keep it light on this relationship front, but you're willing to have his baby? That's where, that's why I'm, I'm sitting here with Preach. I'm like, wait a minute, the math, the math, because it don't make too much sense to me. But I, I don't know, maybe I misheard it. Maybe I misheard it. I might even run it back, but... Did she mention something about she'd be willing to get pregnant like in a week or would marry somebody in a week or something to that effect? And I was stuck. I kind of missed it. <laughs> I kind of missed part of the conversation because I was stuck for a second. This process like a week, like one week. Did you say you want to have my kid after a week? If you really feel it, I'm like, wait a minute. I can't. Maybe I misheard it. If I misheard it, tell me I misheard it. But I'm like, yo, that that's that's a little wild. That's a little wild, man. I just feel like something just tells me I don't want to be, you know, the bad manosphere guy who was just going at women. I'm not trying to be that guy. But I'm just saying if, if Fresh CEO was, was a Burger King employee, something tell me she wouldn't be rushing to have this kid. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what? Honestly, Burger King's kind of low. <laughs> I'm dropping them down pretty heavy, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee it. First off, I don't even think she would be dating the dude if that was working at Burger King. Let's just start there. Let's start there. They, they, they would see him as unambitious and things of that nature. Even if he was the manager, it'd be like, you smell like fries. Like, I hate this, yo. All right, let me get off of it. <laughs> let me get off of it. Let me get off of it. This interview is solid, and let's let's kind of keep it pushing. I want, I, I really want to hear more what she has to say he claimed he never wanted a baby would that be true she didn't want okay if he say so if he really didn't want a baby after so many times i asked him in person do not come in me he does that every fucking day like he can just pull out easy as that because he was always like Oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation, like planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? He claimed he never wanted a baby. Would that be true? She didn't want. Okay. If he say so, if he really didn't want a baby, after so many times I asked him in person, do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like, he can just pull out. Easy as that. Because he was always like, Oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation, like planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. My man was clapping and leaving it in. Every day, she said. Every day. Oh, my God. Shout out to him, man. That's, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We go, we, we going to stunt my man? Oh, let me drop it down. Shout out to him, man. We 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 not gonna stunt my man. God damn. You know what? Power to you, brother. But again, it kind of goes back what I was saying earlier, right? There's nothing wrong with booing up your girl. There's nothing wrong with finding a beautiful woman and being with her and 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 being with her and <laughs> You know, in, in planning the future, there's nothing wrong with that, man. I'm here for it, fellas. I, I know that might be a little anti-manosphere, but I'm here for it. What I'm not here for is the stunting. Oh, my 
God, not the stunting, dude. Listen, man, I get it. I get it. You build this brand and you feel like your brand is unmovable, is unshakable. So it's just like, you know what I mean? I got to keep this persona going. You know what I mean? But over here, I'm doing this. It's like, man. And now you now he kind of playing salvage the brain kind of aspect going on. It's like, oh, man. Oh, man. And listen, I know it's an aspect of uh, maybe it's not his kid. I know that's a thing. I know that's a thing some people brought up. And it's just like, you know, I don't want to accuse my man. I, I don't want to put nothing on him until we have proof it's his, his kid and everything, right? And that's cool. And I get that. And right now, this is all allegations, right? I mean, until we have proof, we don't know. I mean, this could be anybody's kid at this point. But let's take that out of the equation for a sec. Let's just say, you know what I mean? It, it, you know what? Run it back. Let's just say it's not his kid. Does that absolve him of anything, right? Like, does it really absolve him? Does it absolve him of his behavior? Does it absolve him of uh, recklessness? I mean, because, I mean, he was still reckless to the point where he could have knocked up this 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 lady raw dogging it on the rig. I mean, then also to the point of I mean, he's telling all these cats, don't do this, don't do that. But he's all in the whip, booed up, kissing. I love you. I miss you. I'm taking you to the fam. I'm like, let's 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 get a place we stay together. We get a bigger house if we got kids. He talking about this while he hitting the back shots, people. Hmm. So. No, it, it wouldn't. None of this would absolve him, <laughs> even if the kid's not his. This is still a brand hit. It's still a hit on him, and I think the only way truly around this is to embrace it. You just gotta embrace it, boy. This I only want to say take the L because is that an L, folks, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen? Tell me in the chat. I need you to tell me if he's with her. Is he booing up with her? Is that an L? Really? Is that really an L? I don't think it's an L. I think it's a big W. <laughs> I give it as far as the brand. As far as the brand go, yes, it's a big hit. But I'm just talking about in life. I mean, there's some things that's bigger than brands. or something that's bigger than money. It's like, not money. But when you actually find somebody that you really rock with, that connect with you, and y'all truly vibing, yo, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. And if that's what he truly has, it's not an L. The L is him faking the funk that's what the l comes in for me so let me know what y'all think on that so let's let's listen to a little bit more of this interview not pregnant no baby she tells that to walter he says oh you did a pregnancy test she says yeah my period just came and five days ahead so you play a good game okay what game uh um this game on bed i'm confused don't worry we all are i don't think anybody understood what she meant and she goes just kidding i meant you are safe just letting you know next time you won't be so lucky What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time, you're not going to be so lucky. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. But that's good that you got your period. So he, Oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him. And all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot. And once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He but he not he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls, and now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. Oh my lord of mercy! Oh man, jeez man, with this this is rough. <laughs> it just keeps getting rougher, man. That's that's wow. I mean, when you read these texts, dude, the baby trap goes out the window. It's hard to sit on baby trap. It's not there. The, the proof is not there. There's no pudding for the proof. God damn, people. My man was playing the game reckless as hell. Listen, man. As I said before, I don't know what part of the game this is, but this is not the way. This is not the way. Not at all. Nowhere near. Wow. And again, it would be the way if you're if, if if you're doing it right. When I say you're doing it right, like you you're not you're not faking the funk. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So 
the whole make her look crazy, make it look like some shorty. I was just smashing and dashing, and she just trying to claim my kid. That is gone, bro. All he can possibly hope for is it ain't his. And some tells me it's his, probably. I mean, again, that's just an assumption. That's just an assumption. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was his. You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> yeah, baby. You are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo, I missed last time, but this time I'm going to punch you in your face. And then I punch you in your face. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sucker punch? No, it's not a sucker punch. Did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion? Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's gonna make make me pregnant, he's just gonna like raise a baby with me. And he 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 didn't like say that, but all the this this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. But then, okay. Okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm going to get pregnant. I think it's just a uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible. But for me, he's serious. Yeah, yeah, because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like, this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like, I traveled a lot of places, but nothing like this. See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head, I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all establish properly? Folks, communication in a relationship is so important, so vitally important. And establishing things like uh, children, children rearing, religion uh just these hard points these hard points of life especially when you plan in a future is very important so we can't just willy-nilly the whole kids or not because relationships end on the child debate i've seen divorces just based on the kid I, I, you want a kid or you don't want a kid I guess we got to go our separate ways. You know, that's a big deal. It's a real thing. A lot of people, some people really want to, you know, have a big family or just a family. Some people really want to have their family name move on into the future. These things are real factors, you know, and and I don't think that he never wanted to have kids. I just think it's just one of those things where I think he didn't want to do it right now. Obviously, he's at the peak of his career. He's at the peak of his career right now. So obviously, it's probably not the best time to do it from his position. 100% get that. That makes sense. But man, you know, when you when you just leaving it in, when you all in the walls and you just you just letting go like recklessly. I mean, to the point you got the text messages and it's just like, oh, you know, I'm gonna... <laughs> like <laughs> it's in the text messages, man. That's crazy. You just like, hey, you know, well, it makes you happy. This and another like. I mean, listen, I, 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 all men understand, all men understand there's something about staying in the wall. It's something about staying in there. Everybody knows you can't beat that. I get it. I get it. I get it. But God damn, to what end? To what end, folks? Okay. Why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child and not taking the responsibilities after. He can, he can, he doesn't have to love me or he can break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like gonna get over with it. 
but I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand. On a podcast, he said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one, too. So, Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts. From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, is up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it. Fresh, so can you no. Talk? You're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the yeah. bracelet. And No, it's not true. He he paid he paid half and I paid half. Like like I said, how much around 30K? Uh, well, first, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you just speak the truth? Like, why are you, like, pretending it, like, hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just told me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans, and it's a big deal to them, because yes. it really makes you look like I see him. Yep. And I wouldn't give a shit. Do you think that all this is good for your future baby? That's another good fucking question. Yeah. It's not. That's why I... In the beginning... It's not good for the baby, actually. Um, that's why I'm just, I just want to tell the truth. Cause when I, when I first test positive and I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where he got head at. And then I, I try to like talk to him. I called him, I text him. He acts like nothing happened. Like not my business, like woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like, don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore? Things happens, and I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he the, he did completely the other the other way around. That just that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you? How can you, uh, you, you, you said you love me like literally two weeks ago and wanted to play a future with me. And now you, you're acting like this with me. Uh, when did you tell him you're pregnant? Uh, on the 30th. Yeah. Cause yeah, I called him immediately. Um, when, when I exposed him, when I, when I start to decide to expose him. Right there, I'd asked her, when did you call the lawyer? Do you think that all this is good for your future baby? That's another good fucking question. Yeah. It's not. That's why I... In the beginning... It's not good for the baby, actually. Um, that's why I'm just... I just want to tell the truth. Because when I, when I first test positive... And I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where he got head at. And then I, I try to like talk to him. I called him. I text him. He acts like nothing happened. Like not my business. Like woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's that was his behavior. I have a thirty-seven minutes conversation between me and him what if you think we don't keep the baby because we're not together anymore things happens and i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna take you to the hospital that would be fine i'll be okay but he the, he did completely the other the other way around that just that just made me so sad that just made me so sad how can you how can you uh you 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 said you love me like literally two weeks ago and wanted to play a future with me and now you you're acting like this with me uh when did you tell him you're pregnant uh on the 30th yeah because yeah i called him immediately um when when i exposed him when i when i start to decide to expose him. right there i'd asked her when did you call the lawyer mm. so she she uh so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of March, being like, hey, wait, 30th of March? Am I thinking the right date? What are, what are we right now? March. Or April. Or April? 
Okay, I'm oh, sorry. So we told her on 30th of March, tell him she's pregnant. And I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April 4th. denied and everything. And stuff. Yeah, because when she contacted him, he's just like, bro, I don't know you. Get the fuck away from me. I'm like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. And so she's like, yo, you got me pregnant. You're going to disappear on me. So when she exposed her, she's like, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. It's two plus two. Four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> and then I asked her who decided that. Who decided that? That's that's just logic. That's just uh, the math. Without without this, the world doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> And we, I needed to know the answer. You're okay. not good. Okay. You're... He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was toting your sugar walls. I'm just saying. You know? God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't realize that before because I <laughs> Because I just thought he's funny. I appreciate the interview because he 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 has some legit questions, man. He really he really brought it to her and presented this information to me, and we got to kind of get a little insight on her mindset and how she thinks, you know. And and honestly, seems like a woman to me, you know. <laughs> seems like a woman. I mean, she 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 falls in love. She has feelings and. She thought this, but she didn't confirm it. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, that's kind of woman behavior. That makes sense, you know? But the thing is, he fed, my man fresh fed into all of it. So if you're going to keep feeding it, you know what I mean? You're not playing You're not playing the game the way that you're selling it, you know? So, I mean, because, you know, if you're doing it right, it would have been like, nah, you ain't never talking about kids. Nah, you always going to wrap up. You know what I mean? It's just like love. Like, nah. I mean, matter of fact, he dropping her off at airports. and That would have been an Uber. You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I've been out the game for a while, fellas. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I, I, I feel like I know, but maybe I don't. Maybe it's some stuff I'm missing. So let me wrap this damn video up. I know it's going a little long, but at the end of the day, my points stay the same. You know, just practice what you preach. Walk the walk, talk the talk, man. If that's listen, if 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 you want to be know a dude who finds a good woman and have a kid and get a house there's nothing wrong with that bro just tell tell your people let them know like dude yo listen i don't i don't i don't rock with hoes i don't rock with 304s that's that's fine all dude you say she's not one of them that's and this is mine so i don't i don't understand like the ideology of some of these manosphere channels it's like what are you supposed to do with your whole life? Are you just supposed to be single? Are you just supposed to be always have a rotation? Like, I don't see the the, the, the true happiness in that. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Maybe I'm getting too old. I just don't see the joy point. I understand women are difficult. 100%. I get it. I mean, they're never not going to be difficult. <laughs> That's just kind of part of the game, you know? But man, this is, but I don't know, man. Having somebody I know that's going to be my ride or die, have my children, you know, I'm going to look out. They're they going to look out. This seems like a great deal. Seems like a great deal. I mean, obviously, obviously, America is a rough place to make that happen. We understand the family courts, we understand prenups and stuff like that. We, I get it. If you're smart, do all the smart stuff, right? But. I'm just not against, you know, love. I'm not against love. I'm not against establishing a family, things of that nature. But I am against faking the funk. You know what I mean? So if that's not the way you live in, stop promoting it. It is what it is. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.